still there? Yes. What is your location? I'm in my house, and he's... Ma'am? Still there. A normal-sized gun would have done the exact same job. Please stop talking. You're telling me you wouldn't prefer just a nice, clean overdose? It's a Tuesday afternoon for Christ's sake. Guys, sake. can we please focus? We're already running behind. Come on. Got some protein ready for disposal. Teeth. The guy used a gun that size knowing he was going to put a Jackson Pollock on the wall. All I'm saying is, that's kind of a douche move. You can't call a dead man a douche. Why not? Because it's insensitive. Uh, morning, ma'am. The inside of the house is clean. Uh, sorry about that. Is this... I don't know, is this funny to you? You get off joking about people's tragedies? No. No, not at all. Oh, no? So you're just an asshole? Or do you prefer douche? Okay, why don't I take you on the walkthrough, sign off and everything, okay? After you. So I just want to confirm that that is your current address in case we have to get all of you. Yes. Okay, last one. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. And again, I apologize for my team's behavior. We really are sorry for your loss. Thank you for choosing us. Let's hope it's a one-off. Interested financier? You're kidding. I am beyond busy. I don't have time for a sense of humor. <laughs> oh my god! Who? When? Where? Lead investors finishing up a deal on the East Coast. You have a meeting at the end of the month. 29th. 3 p.m. Oh, gotta go. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> 
You know, ride? You guys really think that works? Oh, no, seriously, like, ah, he whistled at me. He must be a really nice guy, and wow, he drives a Toyota? I gotta jump on that ship right now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, so you know, I am on my way to surprise my husband. Really? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What's the surprise? Oh, you know, no, it's nothing insane. It's just I might have found an investor to get my brick and mortar store running. Are you serious? Let's get <laughs> you home. Hi. Hi. Hmm. I don't know how to say this nicely, but you're, you're kind of crowding me just a little bit. <laughs> you're such a jerk. Stop. 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 Try. Oh. Whoa. I'm easy, sorry, easy. Sorry. Watch was, the boys. It was an accident, I promise. Yeah, right. Hey. What? Do me a favor. Don't leave me the dust, all right? Shut up. And, you know, it's still a maybe. No. You're too good for this not to work out. You know that, right? I can't do this. How are things going for you, Kevin? I'm not even mad anymore. Honestly, I, I just feel numb. It's not about the affair. It's about the betrayal. <laughs> you know, you give your whole life to somebody and they're only giving you half of theirs. And the whole time you have no idea. And how's it going in the romantic department? In the aftermath of an affair, room is made for a new kind of truth, a new kind of understanding and communication. But you cannot sit in ruin waiting for it to rebuild itself. Have you considered a change of environment? Uh, of course. I mean, that would be ideal. Excellent. The truth of the matter is, your first marriage is over. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Now you need to ask yourselves, would you like to create a second one together? And take action. Make the change. Give yourselves the gift of a new environment. I mean, she's right. Your first marriage is kind of shot to shit. What? I'm just being honest. Which sounds like the missing link here, so you're welcome. I'm just terrified that he's never gonna forgive me. You fucked up, sure, but... You know, he's not the only victim in the situation. I know you won't say this, because you'd rather take the blame, so I'll Dave, say it for you. Don't. Your needs weren't being met. I can't use that as an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's reality. But I have a deadline here, okay? I can't go back and forth about this, Danny. Okay? He pulled away from you, Nat. Yeah. Well, I, I think that anyone who found their brother hanging in a closet would have done the same thing. Come on, Natalie. Can you just hand me the floral print? Hey, what are you doing home already? I just finished early today. Not interrupting anything, am I? No, no, not at all. Hey, Danny. How's it going? Oh, uh, shit, you know what? I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta work stuff. I'll text you later. Okay. See ya. Uh, I wanna run something past you if you have a minute. Are you fucking insane? No, I'm trying to heed the advice that we've been paying for. Just take a look at the house. No, thank you. Look, I talked to the owner. She's going to give us a great price. You already talked to the owner.
Well, yeah. I'm taking action. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Why would you talk to someone about buying a house before even asking me? That's not... Hey, Natalie, you don't understand. This place, it's perfect. It's disturbing. I promise you, you wouldn't be able to tell that anything happened there. I know I cleaned it myself. I don't want to move into a house where there was a murder-suicide. It was unfortunate what happened there. Okay, of course. But shit happens every day. Are you really being that cavalier about we it? We live in the 21st century, Natalie. Wherever we move, there's going to be history, and I'm willing to bet that it's not going to be great. Okay? Domestic Please, abuse, child Kevin. pornography, asbestos. I don't want to move into a house where I'm haunted by the image of someone's brains being splattered all over the living room wall. Well, I don't want to sleep in a bed where I have to relive my wife sucking another guy's dick. You stopped helping yourself. You dropped out of college. You wouldn't talk to me, let alone go anywhere near me. I had a moment of weakness, and I hate myself for that. But you cannot keep punishing me. I know. I just sleep on the couch, okay? It has to have a home office. Okay. And we're really gonna have to cut back on our expenses. And at least until this deal goes through. I can do that. And you have to go back to college. Kevin, I can't watch you throw your life away anymore. Okay. Promise me. I promise. Okay. Wow. Thanks again for walking through with us. We know this is not easy for you. Of course. Hey, what is that right there? Oh, remote locks. There's an app that you can link your phones to. Wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of that stuff here. Uh, there was some technical difficulties here and there with the camera. Yes, I, I, I guess you would have to call the company to set up. As you guys already know, my brother and his wife designed everything here, so you're gonna get a lot of expensive extras at a low cost. Oh, guys, wait till you see outside. Yeah. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. Wow. I know that this is not an ideal situation for anyone, but this backyard and the closet space, right? Look, Claudia, we're obviously very interested. But I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been a rough couple years for us. I know it's not what you offered, but it's what we can afford. If you can say yes to that number, we can sign the paperwork today. We really need a fresh start. Please, let's talk about this. And the truth is, we haven't had a prospective buyer in months. I don't know, I guess people scare off easily these days. Add another 20K and it's yours. <laughs> yes. Yes! <laughs> oh my God, you have no idea how much this means to us. We're just as happy to have it off our hands. And I know that you guys will be really happy here. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Enjoy the house. Oh, uh, Robert. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> we just bought out. <laughs> well, Odie loves it. So, beautiful, right? Something. So that's where he killed her? Oh, 
So creepy. Thank you. Please, I am just pointing out the obvious. Nice plot of land. Perfect for burying murder victims. Are you, uh, sure this is a good decision? Just seems like a lot to go through to get laid, that's all. <laughs> okay, well, in case you didn't notice the moving boxes that you helped carry in, it's a little late for that. As Mom or Gandhi would say, it's never too late. Uh, Gandhi never said that, and Mom is an idiot. You know, that is very harsh on both parties. Dead body. I called it. is all you. Jesus. Is that where he pulled her out from? Danny, stop! You know, it's her own fault hiding in the closet instead of using the front door. What? All right, come on, you little freak. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, baby. Are you okay? I don't know. Is it bleeding? Come on, you're killing me. Hey, shh. All right, fine, stay. I'm going to bed. Sweet-ass time, too. Someone, someone is in the bathroom. What? Someone came in here and went to the bathroom. I thought it was you. There's nobody in here. That's not possible. You'd have to be pretty skinny for me to miss him. You're half asleep. 
It's our first night here. Don't spook yourself out. Let's go to bed. Fine. Thank you. I just didn't pay for it, so it's free. I'll keep it. Well, what do you mean you can't refund it? I didn't order it. Have you seen my keys anywhere? Yeah, it's it's my name and my address, but I personally didn't order it. It's a Kevin, mistake. Kevin, Kevin, keys. Okay, I have to call you back. Hey, where was the last place you had? My desk, but I've searched the entire office and they're not there. Right, so that's probably not the last place you had. Hmm, you know what? I never really thought of that. It's amazing how some people can really put it into perspective for you. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm late, and I slept like shit, and I looked like shit, hey, you and look I... beautiful, and you were gonna do great today. Okay, that, truly not what it looks like. Look, you don't have to be ashamed of it. It's a magazine, it's weird, because you have the internet. Can we, can we just look for your keys? Yes, Thank I can. You. Okay. Look, I told you, I already excavated the entire place. It's not there. I swear to God, I checked there. Well, maybe God's just having an off day and he's trying to fuck with you. Don't you have some porn to go look at? I love you. I love you too. Oh, um, I know you have a crazy day between work and class, so I packed your lunch. It's in the fridge. Lulu. Okay. Go on, get lost. Bye. Bye. My youngest daughter, God love her, is an absolute nightmare. Thank you. Especially when it comes to wardrobe. The amount of gifts that I've had to return could clothe an entire third world country. She's worn three of your samples in the last week. I think you have a really good eye for color and texture and quality. A female entrepreneur, an intelligent one at that. <laughs> Before opening up your own location, We'd like to establish you as a brand name. Is that an offer? We can have you in anywhere between 150 and 250 stores by the end of the season. Is this the part where I leave and pretend to think about it, or can I just stick that? Yeah, you can leave. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> oh, Great. Thank you. Can I hug you? Of course. Thank oh. you so much. I'm going out of town next week, but my associate will be handling the preliminary process. OK. I want you to modernize the structure using the original foundation. Guess what, you get to pair up. Yes, so look around, find a partner, someone that's probably smarter than you. You might actually learn something. Take this seriously. This is half of your grade. Don't procrastinate, check in with each other, meet up at a coffee shop, go to a house. I don't care. If you need help, email me, don't call, I won't answer. You again. Yes, he. I'm stalking you, didn't you know? Yeah, I kind of figured. So, Kevin. So, Avery. Oh, it's a little presumptuous. OK, well, we're partners now, so I have to be able to reach you. Thank you for making it super weird. <laughs> there you go. All right, Kevin. I'll see you in class. And don't worry, because this it's going to be the single fucking greatest class project of all time. Just saying. OK. History of mankind. Uh... All right, if this is all to show me Elgie's vomit again, I swear. OK, shut it. You're ruining the moment. <laughs> oh, my god. Wow. Who's the lucky lady? Um, who, me? Sup. Sup? <laughs> Ew, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go hang with Odie. At least he appreciates no, no, me. No, 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 I appreciate mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. Come here. 
I just figured that if they offered you a deal, we could celebrate, and if it's wrong and they didn't, then we can just get drunk. Forget about it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, God, you have no idea how badly I needed that. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. And not just because you chugged that whole thing. Mm. But you really deserve this. The best is pie you ever had. There'll come a time now, don't forget it. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just, um, just a bad dream. Mm. You know, I was thinking about that. Yeah. It was really nice. 
Mm -hmm. I miss the way you sound. <laughs> yeah, me too. Especially when I do this. See you today. Really? Mm -hmm. That's new. <laughs> well, my meeting is done at five, so I was thinking maybe we could grab dinner, watch a movie. I wish I got called on site. Well, I thought you were going to cut back on your hours. Yeah, but I'm trying to get ahead of the expenses. Just be smart about it. Mm -hmm. well, that's new. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Very beautiful jerk. Oh, yeah, so I've heard. Cocky. No. It's just my way of saying thank you for the note. What note? Kevin Dadich? Yeah. Sign right here, please. Okay, what exactly am I signing for? Um, okay, here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. They racked up $2,000 worth of porn in your bank account. Yeah. Wow. A ghost sighting and identity theft in one day. That's pretty badass. It wasn't a ghost. What kind of porn is it? What? I'm just trying to help. Maybe I know some people who want it. Unbelievable. You know, maybe. It's a paranoid hallucination. I don't know. Think about it. Fresh, we're starting a new business. The stuff with you guys, the new moves. It is kind of a lot at once. Dude. Are you going to listen to me or you're just going to text? Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to text. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Are you serious? Who's Avery? Nobody. Some cute girl he shouldn't be texting, but he is anyway. Stop. What? Is that not accurate? OK, it's all contained in one room. Let's get it cleaned up quickly. <laughs> no. Hey, wait a minute. Who is she? Where did you meet? And did you touch bathing suit parts? <laughs> no, you aging pervert. <laughs> We're meeting up later to work on some class stuff. So the sooner we get done, the better. Is she cute? Yeah. I'm not going to answer that. Why not? <sighs> because she's cute. No, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sounds like karmic retribution. Yeah, because she's cute. OK, just so you guys know, things between Natalie and I have been much better lately. Oh. Yeah, like much better. Aside from the paranoid hallucinations. Okay, guys, come on, let's go. Yeah. But everything else is so much better. Oh, oh, it's so better. Yeah, nope. Pass. Please. Uh... Look, Danny, oh. I don't have time for this right now, okay? I have to get ready for a meeting. Oh, come on. After everything I helped you with last year. Really? You're any guilt with me now? Only because mom is guilt tripping me. Besides, I already told her you're hosting dinner. What? Look, Danny, the last time that mom came into town, we had to check you into rehab. If you want to have a relationship with her, do your thing, okay? But I've split it a long time ago. No, I don't want to deal with it. You know, I never ask you for anything. That is definitely not true. Odie, I have been playing with you all morning. She's probably going to go MIA again after this anyway. What is so bad about a slightly painful dinner every few years? Fine. You can bring her here, okay? But that is as much effort as I am putting in. Okay. Okay, look, I have to get ready for this meeting, okay? Goodbye. <sighs> She gets stuck.
Oh, yeah, right in the middle. Hi, I'm checking in under Dadich. Perfect. The other member of your party just arrived. Oh, great. Thank you. Hey, stranger. Nick. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. If you want to just follow me this way. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I actually have a business meeting. So. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Allie, wait, just hear me out, no, will you? No, that I can't be seeing you right now. Kevin finds out about this. Well, it's on me, okay? You just tell him that you had no idea, and that's the truth. Why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you wouldn't come. Yeah, well, a heads up would have been nice before I signed the paperwork. I know. You have every right to be mad, I get it. But you are talented, Natalie. Okay, and I'm not letting you throw away an opportunity over whatever happened between us. It's stupid. Anne really likes you. Okay, all I did was provide the info. That's it. You come inside. Take the meeting. Please. Fine. Fuck it. I'm going in for another shot. You want one? No, I'm good. You sure? It's 100% agave. Yeah, I gotta drive. Dude, okay. you do realize we have, like, two solid hours of work ahead of us. All right, yeah, I guess I have to then. Huh. Is that West Elm? Uh, close. It's a hand-me-down from my brother. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. Oh. So what about you? Do you have any siblings, or...? Um, yeah, a brother. Be honest, is he the good-looking one? He was, actually. What, and then he got fat? No, he died. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I am just so insensitive. <laughs> no, you're okay. If you ever needed someone to talk to or anything,
is the first floor egress. This getting too cerebral for you? No, uh, I think it's just a sinus issue. You want some nasal spray? Uh, I'm gonna pass on the used nasal spray. Thank you, though. Hey, hey, hey. It's organic. Clever upsell, but <laughs> I think I'll live. I should get home, anyway. All right, I'll walk you out. Easy. It's just me. What are you doing sleeping on the couch? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Come on. What's wrong? Having someone was in here. No, no, I know what you're gonna say. It was another nightmare, but it was so vivid. Kevin, I felt it. Look, the door was locked. You were passed out down there, probably no, working No, no, you're not listening to me. It was real, Kevin. You're calling me a liar. No, that's what you're choosing to hear. All right, let's just talk feelings. Pissed off. Kevin? Yeah, I can tell she's pissed. No, how are you feeling? Frustrated? I don't know. Look, my point is, is that we've both been going through some difficult changes. And tonight, we have this dinner with her mother that neither one of us are looking forward to. Maybe... All the stress is an accumulation of these things. How does that explain what I saw? Paranoid hallucination. No. But we are not gonna act like this with each other. Yeah, well, I never thought you would take a side opposite me. I'm not. I'm just trying to think of every rational explanation, Nat. I hate seeing you like this. If I could take this all away and make it my own, you know I would. Let's go have a shitty meal with your mom. Okay. Jesus Christ, Odie. Getting a freaking heart attack. Yes, Nat, I fed your dog.
guy. You doing okay? Okay. I will give you your space. this. I'll just check upstairs. Mm -hmm. Unfucking fucking believable. But I guess she's not upstairs. Well, maybe she went out to get some last minute stuff. Let's be honest, she's not the most organized. No, but I told her she needed to be here to feed Odie. Okay, so we'll feed him now. Kevin, he's been home alone all day. Look, I'm sure he's down here somewhere. Odie! Odie, come on, bud. she was gonna do this. This is why I don't want to be involved. It's like, she tries to plan these things for my mom and then they get into it and then I have to clean up the mess and it's such bullshit. I, I just, I just want her to show up and she says she's gonna don't show up. Don't worry about Danny. 
she'll show up and if she doesn't just deal with her when she does look Odie is okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna handle dinner just want you to relax okay hmm. it is such a trip how America westernizes these international cuisines when I was in China there's none of this sweet and sour general sow crap yeah sorry to drop take out on you Farah just short on time no 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 thank you Kevin it's wonderful interesting mm. so I uh take it you're still working on that documentary then if you're talking about my life's work yes I'm still working on that documentary life's work how's that going anyway ah it's going wonderfully mm. Joaquin and I is Joaquin he's my lover right is there any more Szechuan chicken Natalie if there's something on your mind, I am opening the door for you to share with me. Who thinks? I'm allowed to enjoy my life, Natalie. You know, when I was your age, I was raising two daughters and running a home business. You funded that business, Mom. Oh, right, it was Dad. Drinks, beer, wine. Why be is right. it so hard for you to support me? Well, it's hard to support something that I've never seen. You know, I don't have to subject myself to this kind of harassment. Harassment? Yes, harassment. You're a bully, Natalie. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if that's why your sister decided not to show up. Uh, I think we all know that. No, 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 Kevin. It's fine. I'd like to leave now. Yeah, Kevin, she'd like to leave now. Tell Joaquin I said hi. You know what, sweetheart? This brooding teen act is a little outdated. Mom, so is the whole free-spirited charade. You should probably think about taking I raised two daughters off your resume because you quit that job a long that time ago. That is so unfair. I sacrificed everything oh, for you and I, Danny. I, 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 you are such a fucking narcissist. You I'm only not care a narcissist. About affect you. Honestly, Danny's probably at her house right now relapsing, shooting up just like she had in the last time. You can't say such a thing. Because you ripped through our lives like a goddamn cancerous tornado. <laughs> Santos, 19, Katrina Cantor, 16, Trey Mahana, 17. Any all of them look familiar to you? No. I've never seen any of these people in my life. <clears throat> Unite the white. I don't get it. What is that? One of the kids copy and pasted this post onto their Facebook page. The original source had your address listed on it. It calls to recruit white supremacist members. You think we did? Well, I don't know what to think yet, but I do know it's a crazy time and anything goes. How dumb would you have to be to put your home address on something like this? As dumb as you'd have to be to post it in the first place. Okay, Officer Richardson, I think what Kevin is trying to say is that we would never contribute to something like this. Ever. <clears throat> All right. Well, if that's the case, you should start thinking about someone you know who would. I mean, we just moved in a couple months ago. We haven't had time to meet the people around us. Uh, what about enemies outside the area? Anyone who may harbor ill will? Scorned lover, vendetta of some kind? No. No, I mean, I'm at work, school, or home. I don't have time for interactions outside of that right now. Ms. Dadich? Mm -mm. No one. Isn't there a way to trace back who posted this? Sure, absolutely, if uh, the original post hadn't been deleted. So that's it? I mean, what do we do? They think we're running some sort of goddamn Nazi okay, operation? Kevin. They burned the car! Natalie? Listen, Mr. Dadage, we are following the trail that we have. If there's other information you have to offer us, anything out of the ordinary, disturbances of some kind, that would be very helpful. Oh, nothing that immediately comes to mind. No. Right. Well, if something does... Claudia, hi. 
It's Natalie Davich. I was just in the neighborhood, and these are for you. Oh, how nice. All right, uh, good boy. Go get it. Go on. Go get it, Odie. The ball. Get, get the ball. Fancy meeting you here. Hey. <laughs> here. No, I'm good. Oh, you look tired and dehydrated. Take it, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. And thanks for meeting me here today. Between Natalie's family drama, house, school, I just needed a normal conversation. Happy I can help. Mm. Your dog sucks at fetch. Yeah, he does. Horrible. Here you go. Obviously, what happened the other night at the house was just people toying with us, but there's still just some things that... Uh, I don't know, they're just... Different. You want to know what happened? Yeah. The truth is, I don't know. Nobody does. Sure, we know the logistics, but we don't know why. Jake could be an asshole. But he was my older brother, and I love him. I loved him. When they were living out of state, Jay wasn't as faithful to Erin as he once promised. As you can imagine, it didn't go over too well with Erin. So she decided to get even. She had an affair too? Some mystery man no one ever heard about. She never said his name or who it was. So Jay knew about it. Eventually. The thing is, all those women that Jay messed around with, they were more like trophies, you know? But Erin? Erin, she had real feelings. Anger? Well, she said it was a one-time thing, but that bitch was up to something. Erin <sighs> designed the house from the ground up. But Jay paid for everything. Every single cent. No questions asked. My brother loved that woman to a fault. They were getting along better, too. I don't understand if they were doing so much better than why what is your location between you and i my brother didn't do it sure he had a temper but he wasn't a murderer and he certainly wouldn't commit suicide and what all of a sudden the cameras are all fucked up there was a lot of little details that just didn't add up. The cops didn't care about any of that. It's not like it was a white man's murder. I didn't know we had company. Oh, oh man. Please, tell me you twisted your ankle playing with my dog so I can make fun of you forever. I think it was a bee. I think a bee got me. A bee got you? Yeah. Is it bad? Does it look bad? Ah, uh, there it is. Hold on, hold on. Uh, got it. Oh. Right there. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> so are you okay? We're gonna have to amputate. <laughs> I think I'll get a second opinion. <sighs> hey, maybe you should check on Odie. Odie. Odie, come here, bud. Odie. Hey. I don't know. I've never seen him like this. Can you get some water? Natalie. Natalie. Uh, I'm I'm so sorry for the intrusion. No, no, no. I, I'm I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. Claudia just springs things on me sometimes. I just she runs her mouth a lot. Normal husband-wife stuff. You know how it is. So you're having some. Some problems with the house? Uh, I may have heard a little more than I was supposed to. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. You know, I, I think given the shock of everything, Claudia may have acted a little impulsively. If you're having trouble with it, I'd be willing to negotiate with you. Buy the house back. <laughs> Not much less than you paid. Less? Yeah. Given the issues, I'm sure that depreciates the value. Well, thank you for the offer, but um, 
I just don't think we can take the hit right now. Sorry for the intrusion. You and your husband, you took advantage of a woman not in her right mind. All he left her was that house. And you two swiped it out from under her like a free meal. Think about what I said. Kevin. Hey, 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 slow down. What's wrong? Hi, I'm Avery, Kevin's class partner. I had mentioned that a couple weeks ago. Right. I must have forgot. Well, I'm gonna... Hi, buddy. Feel better. Nice to meet you. See you in class. Yeah, thanks. What? All right. Let's get to it. We ran Odie's blood work. I'm gonna be honest here. Between that and his physical, it doesn't look good. How not good is it? His blood contains elements of a powerful toxin, causing his health to deteriorate. It's usually due to something the dog accidentally ingested. But the root of it is that his heart is giving out on him. Well, is this something that we can treat? It'd really just be prolonging the pain. Take the time you need. Talk about it. How could you not tell me something like that? I just... I didn't want it to cause any issues. Well, I'm gonna call you out on your bad judgment there and half. This deal could change everything. I wasn't in a position to turn it down. I had already signed the paperwork, but I swear, I had no idea. Have you been meeting him? It's just work. In a whole goddamn city full of people, and you have to work with him? Exactly, okay? Have to. Look, I don't have a choice. Oh, shit. You chose your work. Over my feelings, over our marriage. No, that is not true. He's trying to get into your pants, No, Nat. it is not like that. Isn't that what you said last time? Yeah. I remember that pretty fucking clearly. Damn it, Odie. Okay, calm down. Don't move. What the fuck do we do? Just get your phone ready to call the cops. My phone's not here, Kevin. My fucking phone is not here. Okay, stay calm. <gasps> Kevin, Kevin, don't fucking leave me up here.
So after you entered the kitchen, you didn't hear any other noises? No open doors? Nothing. And no physical description? There wasn't anyone there to describe. Hey, I'm just trying to jog your memory. Okay, we'll write up a report. If anything else comes to mind, feel free to reach out to me directly. There is one other thing. Matt. If you could not make me feel like a lunatic, that would be great. I've been having these... Nightmares. <laughs> there is this man. He's real thin, pale. In the home? Yes. I swear to you, I saw him. He, he crawled out into my hallway and then he attacked me. Hey, so you, you had a pale man crawl into your hallway and attack you. And you didn't think to report it. No, because like Kevin mentioned at the time, I, I thought it was just nightmares. But then things, they, they started disappearing and reappearing in other places. I mean, there was this tennis ball that he put on my bed. Okay, so he put a tennis ball on your bed. No, the, the tennis ball, it was underneath my bed. And I could not reach it. So I, I went to grab something. And when I came back, he had put it back on my bed. Okay, okay. Tall, pale man, tennis ball hallway. Got it. We'll be in touch. <clears throat> oh, we found your phone in the kitchen. Thank you. I hope you know how insane that made us just seem. Okay, you know what, Kevin? Your wife is sitting with the cops, telling them that she doesn't feel safe, that I am terrified, and that's your response? Someone just vandalized our house, Kevin. You don't think it's within the realm of possibility that someone could be breaking into our house? Not to move tennis balls and house keys around. No. Okay, well, you know what? Let me remind you that I am not the only one who heard whatever was in our house tonight, okay? So, What? Kevin, what do you want me to do, oh, Nat? I don't know, Kevin. We have a house full of cameras. Maybe that's a good place to do you start. Do you have any idea how expensive that would yeah, be? Yeah, my guess would be less than our funerals whenever someone murders us in our sleep. Okay, pump the brakes on the melodrama. What we need to be buying is a new car to replace the rental that we are spending a fortune on. We can afford this right now. Yeah, so uh, once you're logged in, you'll be able to control the lock from any room in the house. So uh, red means locked, green, is yeah. that. Right now, everything's running smoothly, but if you start experiencing some glitching, just give us a call. If it's a consistent problem, we might have to replace the whole system. Excellent. I asked for a completed sample rack with 15 additional samples by the time I got back. I know. And what? It's two weeks later, and I have half that. I know. As a person, I am empathetic to the shitstorm that is your life right now. But as your boss, I warned you what you would be getting into. I don't know what to say. If you had any idea how embarrassed I am. I'll give you the extension. One week. Understood? Yes. I need to see the woman who was here in this office when we first met. That woman had her life together. I don't know what to tell you, man. Sounds like you bought a lemon. You guys saw that house. It's perfect. The price we got it for? Was apparently way too much. Whatever. Let's just get this cleaned up before the sun goes down. You know, a similar thing happened to me once. Met the super cute girl, eyes, smile, even had a good personality. So, I'd sleep with her. I wake up in the morning with chlamydia. False advertising all around, man. What do you mean? What? You don't wake up in the morning with chlamydia? That's not the point of the story. No, it is the... If you're gonna tell a story like that, facts actually matter. I mean, what? how do you even know that she gave you the chlamydia? Dude. Hey! 
<laughs> you're not getting squeamish on us, are you? Yeah, maybe you're not cut out for this line of work, princess. You did this. I did it. Yeah, this is why you can't tell stories. Do you need any help? No. Okay. Oh, God. I'm working as fast as I can, Nick, but my mother showed up unexpectedly. I just had to put my dog down and... I know. I know. Um, look, I'm trying to tell my neck. But so, uh... Is there anything I can help you with? I mean, I can... Uh... No, 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 I'm fine. I have it, okay? Did I do something to upset you? Yeah, I really didn't want to bring this up, especially not right now, but yeah, since we're on the subject of it, you cannot be sending flowers to my house, Nick. Okay, um... Was I supposed to send flowers? No, the flowers that you sent? Me and Kevin got in a huge fight because... Natalie, of... wait, I... I didn't send you any flowers. Nick, I saw the card. You signed it. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. You said stay away, and so I did. is how you is trying to break into my house. It's 992 Hello Parkway. What's your first and last name? Natalie Davich. <sighs> please, I need to meet you right now, please. We have officers dispatched. I need you to remain calm. Keep talking to me on the phone, okay? Okay. How many intruders are there? I, I, I don't know. Are they armed? I don't know. Ma'am, are you able to get to a secure location? <sighs> are they close? They're on the way, but I need you to answer my question. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I I made a mistake. So you don't need an officer? No, I just... I'm, I'm so sorry. We just had a scare earlier this week, and I'm really on edge. Mm-hmm. You be safe, okay? Yeah.
How's she doing? She's doing okay. Pretty bruised up. May have a slight fracture. Did she find him? Not yet. We're not sleeping here tonight. The police checked the whole house. I don't care if they sit in their cars and wait around all night. I'm not sleeping here after what happened. You don't believe me. I believe you saw something. No, you don't believe that someone was actually in the house. What about my phone, Kevin? How do you explain all the pictures on it, huh? Maybe your friend Nick took them. Wow, really? I said maybe. Look, you said yourself the timestamps were all from when you were home alone. Sleeping in a hotel tonight. With what money? Our credit cards are maxed out. The mortgage payment's due next week. Natalie, would you just stop? If you're seeing him, just tell me. Mr. Dadich, good to see you again. Thanks for coming down on short notice. I'm just looking for some answers. Yeah, well, I am right there with you. So we went through your security footage. Before we take a look, I just want to go over your wife's official statement, if that's OK. According to police records, your wife spots the intruder. She runs upstairs, locks the door. Then somehow, the intruder ends up in the room with her. She goes to run again, blocked in by a bookcase. A bookcase our team concluded was in a position inconsistent with her story. Mr. Dadish, to the best of your recollection, is this account consistent with what you believe to be true? Yeah. Okay. At no point does the footage ever capture another person. Not in the living room, not in the foyer, not on the staircase. Mr. Dadage, no one ever enters or exits the premises until your wife throws herself out of the window. I'm not making this up. I never said that. It's called fucking subtext, Kevin. Why else would you ask me to go back on my medication? All right, let's just take a moment. Natalie, I'd like to be clear that no one in this room is suggesting that you're fabricating anything. Believe me, okay? I know how this sounds, but I know what I saw. I'm not delusional. We never should have moved into that house. But we did, so... So we sell it. After all the attention you've drawn to it? We... I meant we've drawn to it. Yes. We can sell it back to Claudia and her husband, okay? I spoke with Robert, and he Wait, said Wait, you that... spoke to Robert? When? when I went to go ask Claudia for some history in the house. Oh Look, it was a valid concern. Why would you bother them about being haunted by who the fuck knows what in a place where their family was murdered? I don't know, Kevin. Why are you so concerned with everyone else's feelings but mine? I don't understand how I'm the bad guy here when all I'm doing is looking out for us. You don't have any boundaries, Natalie. That's your problem. You do whatever the fuck you want. You don't care how people feel. Oh, well, what about how I feel, Kevin? You have never sounded more like your mother. You know that? You are such a fucking asshole. Why would you even say something like that? Oh, yeah, that's great. Just go ahead and walk away like you always do because you're a fucking coward. <laughs> Kevin? What are you doing? Uh, Kevin! Uh, oh my God, oh my God. Someone help! Someone call 911! Uh, Someone call 911! This is Dadich. Okay. He is coherent, and there are no indications of any memory loss or other physical trauma. Okay, so what happened? Uh, why don't you have a seat? Please. Okay. 
Are you aware of something called Narium? No. It's a lethal poisoning agent. And the reason I ask is because we found traces of it in your husband's bloodstream. Now, taken in small doses over a prolonged period of time, it can lead to health deteriorations ranging from vomiting or muscle weakness to seizures or arrhythmic heart function, sometimes mistaken as cardiac arrest. Do you have any idea how that got into his blood? I want to see Kevin. Uh, I'm afraid I can't let that it's happen. It's my husband. What do you mean you can't allow me to I see I understand him? that, Mrs. Dadich, but he's with the authorities right now, so why don't you just have a seat? No, I am on your side, Natalie. Well, it doesn't feel like it. What I'm just trying to understand, according to Mr. Dadich's hospital records, he's been exposed to this substance for quite some time now. Well, why would I try and kill my husband after working so hard to rebuild our marriage? No, maybe because this Nick Scott guy comes back into town. No, you decide you want to have a life with him. Young, stable, handsome. Not to mention, he's kick-starting your career. I love my husband. Maybe a chemical imbalance in the brain. As footage of you running around the house from an invisible intruder. There was someone in my house. Maybe because you just realized your husband is never going to forgive you. Oh, is this you ending our conversation? Well, if I'm not under arrest, I'd like to get back to work now. By all means. How are you feeling? Better than yesterday, I guess. Uh, hey, I'm just gonna make a dinner tonight. Is there anything you wanna request? You know, I gotta work on the project again. With Avery? Yeah. Well, I mean, are you sure that you should be pushing yourself like that? You just got out of the hospital. It's half our grade. I don't really know that we have a choice. Plus, we're running behind. I don't want to make her lift all the dead weight. You don't want to take your lunch? No, I'm not feeling up to a whole meal. Start light. Bye. Bye. Can I help you? Well, so, sorry, uh, you're just such a, a beautiful woman. I think you have the wrong house. Oh, you really just like to get right into things, huh? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> God, you really do like to put up a fight. <laughs> some good news for you. We were able to ID your attacker, Travis Murray. Your camera caught him canvassing the house just before the attack. We have reason to believe he's been watching your house for quite some time now. So what do we do now? We get a lawyer, press charges? Uh, well, not exactly. We aren't actually able to place him under arrest. What? There is an investigation that has dug up some information relieving Travis of all charges. What do you mean? He broke into our house. Robert Sorrentino, the man who sold you the house in which you currently reside. Yeah, what does he have to do with anything? Sorrentino has been taken into custody just a couple of hours ago. He admitted to his involvement. What are you saying? He sent some stranger to our house to attack her? Our detectives found an online post in Travis Murray's search history. 
It disclosed Mrs. Dadage's name in addition to a photograph pulled from an online source. I'd prefer to be taken by surprise. Yeah. It was an ad listed under the personals and intended to portray Mrs. Dadage as a lonely, unsatisfied housewife with a fetish for spontaneous submissive sex, preferably with strangers. Luckily, our detectives were able to trace the IP address directly to Robert. Robert also admitted to posting the initial listing that provoked the vandalism to your house, as well as purchasing the magazine subscriptions. Mr. Sorrentino claims he wasn't trying to inflict harm, just trying to scare you all, hoping you'd forfeit the purchase. He nearly had my wife raped and beaten. She is so traumatized she can't sleep in her house. He poisoned my dog to death and tried to do the same fucking thing to me. Hey, well, ho hold on, hold on, Mr. Dadage. As of now, Mr. Sorrentino denies ever personally entering the property. He says he has no knowledge of the other attacks against your wife and has never been exposed to the Nerium. No shit. Of course he'd fucking deny it. Fraud is one thing, but attempted murder, you're just gonna sit on this shit? I uh, hear you, listen, we have our men working around the clock to get a confession. We're still holding him on the charges he's taken responsibility for. I thought you said there's some good news. Well, there is. Upon questioning him, we now have reason to believe he has a certain level of involvement with the death of the previous homeowners. How so? Well, unbeknownst to Mrs. Sorrentino, Robert had accumulated a significant amount of debt. So your house, knowingly left to him by his brother-in-law, was the only financial venture he had going. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry. <sighs> I was just tricking myself into believing that if I just waited it out, would you come around? But you and I both know that you're never really going to trust me again. Not 100%. I think that we should talk about separating. At least for a little while. This is half your grade. Don't mess around. Check in with each other. Check in with me. I'm here after class. Some of you already know that. How much did you pay for those shoes? 
Oh, you don't want to know. I don't want to know because they look just like kind of obscene, to be yeah. honest. You should answer the phone. And what's the point? She made it very clear that she doesn't want me to come home. She's your wife. You should answer the phone. Hey, it's me. Um, I don't even know where to start. I'm sorry for what I said last night. I didn't mean it. I don't get it. That's the thing about people. They change their minds. A lot, actually. You know, um, we can just pick this up tomorrow. Kevin. Go home. text you anything. I am looking at my text messages right now. I, I can screenshot you my thread if you want. Of the flowers. Eight ninety five. Fresh, right? Absolutely. Uh huh.
My brother? Yeah, he had a temper. But he wasn't a murderer. She had an affair, too? Mm hmm Some mystery man no one ever heard about. Erin designed the house from the ground up. That bitch was up to something. She brought you here, didn't she? Aaron? She wanted you to be here with her.
Board on the steam net. Uh, it's the romantic effort that counts, I guess. Sexy scavenger hunting. The bathroom took a hit, though. Hey, are you asleep?
that. Okay, in my defense, I thought I would just come through the front door. <sighs> okay, can you just help me get this stuff the hell out of here? I would. It's just that you're doing such a good job that I don't want to mess yeah, up. Yeah, I still have a knife in my hand. Uh-huh. Why are you looking at me like that? Just look good. I know I look. Okay, uh, and that moment is ruined. Oh, I thought I made it better. I should take that. And, uh, hey, thanks for the gift. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wasn't going to keep it, so... Hey, guys. I checked all the rooms. Everything's all clear. Unless you want to send Dave back in there, and I honestly wouldn't care if he came back. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Right back, Garrett. That mustache has changed you. I know. Um, last box? Yeah. All right, let's do this. You ready? Yeah. All right, bud. Ah. Should we all wave goodbye to the house? Absolutely. <sighs> My house. <laughs> I almost died.